kaki nyata. Hi, this is cooking apa. I know you have seen me deep frying fish few times, but this round I really cannot tahan. I must take this video because why? Look at my fish. Look at my bara mandi. Siakap. I found this 5 kg very extremely fresh uh, siakap at the D market. Yeah, at Taman Desa KL. Look at the flesh is fleshy. See? See? This is how fresh it is. So beautiful. I'm telling you, I bought this kind of size before. Later, not only the fresh, the skin will be extremely tasty and crispy later. Okay? Um, let's use a spatula to, hot, to help you. You need a very hot oil here, smoking hot. It is not easy to uh, get this kind of size recently. Um, this fish, I got it for per kg, about 40 ringgit. Uh, it is not considered cheap. If you go to the wet market, probably you can get it below 30 ringgit per kg. But um, yeah, but this fresh, this kind of freshness and this size, not easy to get. Okay, so 40 ringgit is, is just nice. So this fish actually cost me 200 ringgit. I think my whole family can probably eat it for one whole month. It can last for one whole month. Look at the beautiful color. Can you see the beautiful color? I find one thing I noticed. Um, those very extremely fresh fish, when you cut it into color, you can see the flesh will be fleshy. Yeah, just now, did you see? Yeah, it's like a rainbow color. Okay. Um, Shakap and Baramundi is one of my uh, most favorite fish. This size is definitely uh, deep sea, yeah? from deep sea. It's wild, it's not by rare, I hope. <laughs> Okay. Like I always say, each side, when you put in the, the, the fish into the hot oil, don't flip it too early. Each side, give it at least about 4-5 minutes. Okay. Actually, today I have my Vietnamese pork chop. Uh, but because this fish is so fresh, I uh, cannot tahan. I must at least cook one fillet. One cutlet, sorry. Okay, we'll come back after this. Well, the whole thing will probably take about seven, eight minutes, okay? First of all, the first uh, four minutes, you don't turn it. After about four minutes, you flip it over. Then uh, you give it another two, three minutes, then it is done. Okay, we'll come back after this. Okay, this is after about four minutes. And you can actually start seeing uh, the edges start to, uh, started to crispify. And you can push your fish, your fish is just moving, not sticking uh, on the bottom. So now you actually need to flip it over, use a spatula. This is how I do it. Yeah, use a spatula with uh, the help of the spoon. Push the fish cutlet over to the edge and turn. Look at the golden brown crispy color that you have here. This is exactly the kind of effect we want. Now give this another probably about two to three minutes and you remove from the oil and it is done. That's how easy it is to deep fry a fish. Okay, we'll come back after this. Okay, this is after another two minutes plus. Let's take a look at the other side. Again, using the help of a spoon, push it over. Oh, wow. So beautiful, isn't it? See? I hope you can see clearly. By the way, if you all use a 55 inches TV to watch my movie, it will still be very clear because I'm using high definition here. One more round. I want it to be slightly darkened at the other side. Give it another 10 seconds and it is done. Okay. So we prepare a kitchen towel at the side to soak up the excess oil. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. 
five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. Right. Off the fire. With the help of the spoon again. Okay, transfer it onto a kitchen tower. Then soak out the excess oil. After that, you transfer to a plate you want. Okay, so if you like my video, this is how uh, Appa deep fry a uh, shaka fish. This is a 5 kg shaka fish. If you like my video, do share out on your Facebook to your friends and come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click above the like and follow button. Go to Cooking Appa YouTube channel and uh, watch all my video there and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. And also, um, uh, subscribe, uh, no, uh, follow Appa's Instagram. Alright, thank you very much. Bye bye.